In this video I'm going to take a look at the tear off option for a menu in TK Inter. Consider the following computer program which we've looked at in the previous video. If I click on colour here and go and click on to the red, the green and the blue you can see the background colour of the window will change appropriately. If I click on the colour again you can see here we have a dashed line. Now clicking on this let's observe what happens and you can see up here the menu has been removed. So if I drag it back to here now and if I click on the red, the green and the blue you can see it changes the background colour. So although the menu has been removed from the menu bar we can see it still functions as we would expect. So if I now close this down and come to here I can see that I have got here what I can alter and I can alter it using the tear off option and that's what this video is about. We have just observed the runtime of this computer program here and we saw that when the program runs we got this kind of setup here. We have the menu bar which has the item here colour and we have this sub menu, this drop down menu, this cascading menu. And we've discussed this program in the previous video but briefly these are the functions that will alter the background colour of the form. If we look here we create the window, this creates the menu bar Bar. These lines create the drop down menu. This adds the drop down menu to this label, and here we then configure the menu bar so it appears as you can see here. And then, of course, we enter the main loop. Now, if that explanation was a bit quick and clearly it is, I recommend you go back to the previous video in the playlist where I've discussed this program in more detail. Before I consider the tear off option, the tear off attribute of the drop down menu, I would like to look to the items that appear in the menu. If we look at the first item, this one here, we've seen the effect of clicking on that. But what I would like to say here is that this item has the index of zero. If we look at the next item, we can see that that's got the index of one. The one after that, the green, has got the index of two. And then, of course, the blue item, the blue label, has the index of three. So when we want to refer to individual items within the menu, and I'm not going to do that in this video, we can see we can get at them because they have an index number. For this video, this line is the one I wish to note. And you can see we have this name bound to an instance of a menu that has as its parent this here, which is the menu bar that was created on this line. Before I show you how to edit this program to perform the task that we're discussing in this video, I want to draw your attention to this argument here. That's passed in to when we're creating the instance of the menu. Let's have a look now how I'm going to change the computer program on this line. And you can see the line appearing now. Now the amendment to this line of code is shown here. And you can see that I have introduced another named argument called tear off. And that has been assigned zero. Now when we execute this computer program and we click on the color label that appears on the menu bar, what we're going to see is this here. And you can see there's the menu bar, there's the label that I've clicked on. And here is the submenu that's appeared. And you can clearly see that the dashed line that appeared above the red label has now been removed and it's not there because here we've got tear off is assigned zero. Now if we consider the drop down menu, the sub menu, what we can talk about is the index positions of the items within that. Now on this occasion because we've removed the dashed line, the red label that's regarded as being in index 0, whereas previously it was in index 1, if you remember. The green, well, that's now going to be in index 1. And the blue, well, that's going to be in index position 2, where previously it was in index position 3, because they were all one bigger, these index for the red, the green, and the blue, because we had the dashed line appearing within the drop-down menu. So to decide whether a menu can be 
turn off. What we do at the moment of creating that menu, which is what this line is doing, here we're creating an instance of the menu that's going to be bound to this name. We simply put here tear off equals zero and the dashed line will not appear in the menu. If you make tear off equal to one, We'll have a go yourself and see what happens. You will find out that the dashed line will be put back in. So you have a choice as making this zero here or making it one to control it. If you decide not to put this option in, then when the menu is created, the assumption is that the tear off will be one and the dashed line will appear in the menu. I would have a go if I was you now writing this program and changing tear off to zero and to one and see the difference. Also, instead of assigning zero to it, as you see here, assign false and see what happens. When you type in false, make sure the F is uppercase and all the other letters of the word false are lowercase. And then try assigning true to tear off and see what happens. And when you type in true, again remember that the first letter of the word will be uppercase and the rest are lowercase. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.